Hey, what's up guys, Top 14 here, and today I wanted to talk about GTA 5 Next Gen. Yes. <laughs> I forgot the, uh, the character's mouth moves. Um, yeah, I wanted to talk about it because it's now under a month away since... Um, sorry, under a month until the next gen GTA 5 game and I was surprised by that because initially why I'm on this now and why I haven't been on it in a while is because before I way to have the next gen as a surprise so I didn't want to go anywhere near this and I just wanted to leave it and you know so the next gen would feel like it's a new game again and I haven't played it in a while however I saw an update or oh, uh, sorry, on Rockstar's Newswire, I saw that there was going to be a San Andreas kind of themed update where you could have certain San Andreas clothing and some weapons and whatnot. Now, I probably misread it, but I've come on this to check it out and I can't find any of those, like, anywhere. So, that's why I came on this, just to have a look at those, because I love the San Andreas so much, but. They don't appear to be on here, maybe it's just I haven't had the update, or maybe I misread it, whatever. But, uh, since I'm on here, I shall talk about GTA 5 on the next gen, and how excited I am for it, because it's been a while, obviously, since me and my friends have played it. Of course, uh, IODLXX, my mate, did a few videos on it with, uh, some, uh, yeah, some funny moments involving some of my friends, but, um, yeah, now that I'll be recording with him if you just decide to get one for the Xbox One. Hello. Hello. Um, but, I mean, yeah, so hopefully, because I've got one now, I'll be able to record a lot more of GTA 5, hopefully the funny moments or us sort of doing jobs or whatever it might be. But I'm just really excited for it because of uh, some of the leaked information that came out quite a while ago about it. Things like first person view. God's sake, I'm still a truck driver. Uh, first person view and um, in cockpit view and, you know, on foot, which I think is pretty, pretty cool. Oh my god, <laughs> look at this bush. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. And also this, as well, is partially why I'm looking forward to next year, because hopefully we shouldn't have any of these ridiculous bush features, because apparently there's things like the foliage system where I'm assuming stuff like that will be fixed, also new trees added into the environment. Um, i trying to remember some of the other stuff now. I think also there's going to be, excuse me, some other cars from previous GTAs. I think I'm right in saying that, so Cars of San Andreas, GTA 4, maybe a few of GTA 3 as well, I don't know, but that's what I heard anyway, and you know, it's just really exciting for me because GTA 5 probably one of the games I was on most when we had a 360, and I think it would be cool because this might, other than Advanced Warfare, be one of the first games all of us will have. It'll just be so much fun having the majority of us on it playing with each other. And just uh, really looking forward to that. Of course, uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, another game that, uh, to me, I'm actually, you know, it's one of those games where it's like, I'll get it for the sake of it, but I'm not sure whether it'll be a good game as such. I think it'll be more that it would be more of an enjoyable game, just the fact of all of us playing it, as in me and my friends. But, I don't know, let me know what you lot are thinking about Advanced Warfare, what do you think is going to be good, whether it will meet all the hype that's gone on about it, because to me anyway, it seems that a lot of games that have come out on the next gen have been, or certainly games like Watch Dogs and Titanfall and there's been quite a few which I think have been overhyped as such and I'm just hoping that Advanced Warfare isn't one of those and you know all the excitement and all the talks going to be worth it 
this year. And it would be disappointing anyway if it isn't, but I, you know, I still think we'll all be on it and have a good time. And it'll just be a good game. With game modes like Uplink coming, where it's like, um, it's like the Griff Ball on Halo, I think. Something similar already anyway, that looks really fun. Look forward to hopefully being able to do a few videos of those of my friends. I'm down with that, but um, yeah, I mean, it's just really good. I mean, I've been enjoying Forza Horizon 2 at the moment. It's just a shame that the people who are playing aren't exactly the people that are regularly online. Um, all the people that are playing FIFA, and, you know, that's fun. I guess. <laughs> Sorry if you were watching. But um no I mean it's you know, it's exciting times coming in November and uh I just couldn't believe to be hit five was under a month's time. I'm not sure how many people have actually thought of it like that. I don't know what the monogram is but to be honest it doesn't it's I'm just really excited for it. Yeah, it's nice to be playing this actually, because I mean I'm gonna I mean, my favourite car in the game was Zentorno. Uh, just recently changed the colour schemes on it because I had a pretty dodgy colour scheme of black, not black, red and white. And it's because it was a Christmas thing, it was good, but I'm not too sure. But it looks badass in black and orange. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about either Advanced Warfare or whether. Um, kind of a bad aim. There we are. Or whether you're excited for next gen GTA or if you're getting it on PC even because I mean that should be good with all the mods coming on to it. But uh yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it.